Hey you guys, so I'm back at it again another way. Pinky's Life Advice. As you know, I'm your resident love spirit guy. Yes, I'm a life coach, but you know, I love to say love spirit guy because who gonna check me? <laughs> How have y'all been doing? How have y'all been going? How have y'all been moving? I just wanted to say today is all about just taking action and taking action with faith, taking action with love, taking action with success within your mindset. Today is about planning out your future and it's about planning out the next few the next six months really because when july starts july is going to be the month where you really want to move off of faith where you really want to move off of love where you really want to move off your own intuition and july is when you really want to trust yourself because we're in cancer season and cancers are all, are all about being intuitive all about trusting yourself all about loving yourself all about taking care of yourself all about choosing yourself i feel like one thing about a counselor that they're good about is being selfish and about telling the truth and it's always about understanding what your body needs and who your body needs around you and what your body needs at this present moment and in this present time so when july comes july is about planning and in that planning you move off of what you have already set for yourself july is about sticking to a schedule that you have already created for yourself a schedule that you have always wanted for yourself so the thing about now is you need to understand what is it that you want because when you move into july that just needs to be an action but for the last few days of june this needs to be you actually planning out what do you want for the next six months of your life and you have to have faith that in the next six months it's going to it's going to work as you work with yourself as you work on loving yourself as you work on seeing yourself and as you work on the plan that you have set for yourself and you just go for it because god's budget and your budget are two different things and god's budget is going to be bigger than the budget that you see for yourself you know what i'm saying so it's just like you have to learn how to move on faith because for the next six months, like I told y'all, 2023 is about dating yourself. And in dating yourself, you have an expectation of how you see you want to be dated, how you want to be treated, how you want to be cared for. And if you don't, then this is the time where you need to understand how do you want to be treated? How do you want to be cared for? How do you want to live life? You know, I was watching this TikTok and she was like, the most important thing that you want to do when you're single is look for a job that's going to solidify your singleness. That's going to solidify the fact that this is going to take care of me not only in getting my apartment but allowing me to get my apartment still spurge on myself and still have extra money to save up just in case of emergency while still being able to invest back into me whether that be from stocks whether that be from my business whether that be from anything and everything and that's how my mindset not even how my mindset but this is how the mindset of the energy of the collective should be right now it should be on what job what people what association is going to get me to where i need to go it, it, it's all about what is going to benefit you during this time what is benefiting you during this time and all i came on here to say is just like really trusting yourself at this time really love yourself at this time really dive deeper back into your practices of meditating of becoming slow of becoming one with yourself of becoming you you know really truly becoming a union and creating a better union with yourself because these next few months is really about you expanding on the love that you already have for yourself like i told you this first three or four months was just fun it was just fun for us it was just time to like really just have fun to really just live to really just see who is for us who isn't for us and now that we hit june and we hit a pivotal point of going into july this is the point where you should know who is for you and who isn't for you and this is the point where you should know what job is for you and what job isn't for you who what mindset is for you what mindset isn't for you what habit is for you and what habit isn't for you this is a time where you really need to understand okay what do i need to do to get where i need to go <laughs> what do i need to do to get where i need to go and then stick with that because it's like july is about commitment july is about committing to yourself it's not even about july it's just really about being 2023 because 2023 has been a commitment to yourself has been a consistent commitment to yourself and if you haven't been consistent or consistently committing to yourself then 2023 has been hard for you but if you've been consistently committing to yourself then 2023 has been a breeze for you because you've been noticing i've done the work to love myself when nothing can trigger me i just know that i haven't allow myself to speak or voice this topic of what's upsetting me at this time and once i validate that and make myself understand that i'm safe and i'm secure then i'm fine so it, it, it's really a time period calling us to love ourselves again to see ourselves again to be one with ourselves i don't know about nobody else but this week has been 
such a sabot I'm gonna say June has been such a sabotaging, self-sabotaging thing that Gemini in me really did come out because it's like, yes, I'm so happy go lucky, but that negative side of me has been coming out. That part of me that doesn't believe in myself, that part of me that doesn't love myself, that part of me that doesn't see myself has been heavily trying to come out. But like I told you, I know myself so well that my dark side cannot trick my light side into thinking that it doesn't need it. And my light side can trick my dark side into thinking that we can only be light because my dark side knows that it has a voice and it has a seat at the table so it knows that it's going its opinion is valid and its voices and its worries are valid but it's things that we are not going to get so caught up in it's just that my light is going to learn how to talk to my darkness better learn how to validate it better learn how to like hug it better to just make it see that it's loved and it's seen and it's heard and it's valued better you know transform it back into life back into balance back into self back into love you know so it's like this time period of 2023 the first half of it was us really just clearing out those old habits those old behaviors things that we know we don't like things that we know are not us things that we know we're never supposed to be us taking back our power from people that we have left we have given too much of ourselves to because we didn't realize our own work and when we realize our own work we're taking our power back so it's like we have to realize that 2023 was just the first half of it was just preparing us to handle our darkness to handle our light to handle being in balance fully you know it should have been a breeze those first few months in the last few months it's still going to be a breeze but i'm just saying it, it should be more of a focus on getting back to business getting back to self getting back to focus on what is it that i have to do to get back to my purpose in life to get back to what god called me to do here get back to what i call myself to do here and it's like this is the time period where you want to get back centered and what do i want to do take these last few days of june to figure out what is the last what is the next six months of my life going to look like what is the next six months of my life going to entail what do i need from the next six months of my life and move off of faith do not move off of okay well i don't have enough money okay well i don't have this so how am i going to get here and how am i going to do this and how am i going to do that no what do you want and in saying what do you want even if you have to cry about it trust that god will bring it because you poured your heart out to your father and why wouldn't your father come through for you why wouldn't your father come through for you if you poured your heart out to him understand that and this is a time period where you really need to just trust you have to trust the vision you have to trust the plan you have to trust what you see within your eyes within your mind you know your third eye you have to trust that everything is going to be okay everything is going to be all right everything is moving according to plan it's just that you cannot allow your darkness to overpower your light and you cannot like allow your light to overpower your darkness you need to be able to come into balance this is about dating yourself this is about seeing yourself this is about going back into hiding going back into hermit mode going back into your shell into your safe spaces and understanding that i have to get more centered and grounded in allowing god to control my life instead of me trying to control the situation me trying to control people me trying to control anything and everything within my life and not just allowing god to come in and just move move me because if I ask my father something, my father will come through. But will I allow him to come through for me? Or will I continue to be in fear and to worry and to doubt? And I continue to overwork myself because I'm desperate for something. Not understanding that I'm only desperate because I'm not truly understanding the, the security, the safety, the love, the power that God brings me. Or the power that I have in just allowing him to take over. But... I just wanted to come on here and just say that brief message is not too much because lately I've still been in, in silence, you know, I've still been learning how to truly say what I need to say, how to truly feel what I need to feel. And I've noticed I've been running away from myself. I've noticed that I haven't truly sat with myself and did my, me my own meditation practices, my own teas and just my own things that keep me afloat and that keep me going and that keep me from going crazy and insane but i haven't been doing that because i've been having fun so that's why i'm saying not only just to you but to me as well it's time to get back focused it's time to get back centered it's time to get back into your relationship and deepen your relationship with god if you really want everything that you know is meant for you it's time for you to get back to you 
you know you've had fun you've had a break you had your vacation but now it's time to get back to work it's time to get back to that deep healing that deep trusting that deep faith that deep inner knowing of yourself it's time to get back to you you can do it the only thing that you have to do is just slow down because the more slow you are the more present you are the more understanding you are of yourself the more validating you are of yourself you start to realize that god has always been with you you just haven't paid attention enough to how god is moving you and you haven't been grateful enough to what he has doing what he is doing for you what he continues to do for you and what he is on the way of doing for you so slow down be more present, get back into your spiritual practices, into your spiritual grace, and come into an understanding of what do you want? What do you want? Because he will provide it, but will you work consistently? Will you commit to it consistently to get what you want and to get what you need? You know? Faith without work is sad. Or is it faith without work is sad? Because it is. <laughs> yeah. But it is also walk by faith and not walk by, not walk by sight. So you have to have faith in your vision, but you also have to work along with your vision. You just have to. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep growing. You have this. You got this. Because I got this. And if I got this, then you got this. And we got this together. Because I have faith in you just like I have faith in myself. I have faith in myself heavily because I haven't quit. I haven't quit. I just need to be more consistent. <laughs> I can say my flaws, so now you say yours. But anyhow, y'all got it. I love y'all. I respect y'all. And remember, my sessions are still open. All you have to do is just email me, Pinky Life Advice, Pinky Life Advice at gmail.com. Pinky Life Advice at gmail.com. It will be linked down below. And I still have the self love sessions, the self appreciation, the bid and validate, the learning to let go. Hey, a lot of us, especially during this time period, it's about learning to let go. It's about bend and validate. It's really about venting about your day, venting about a situation, understanding how you need to just get it out within the moment, but then you need to be redirected back into the truth, okay? And a lot of y'all don't have safe spaces, so you will have a safe space within me. So, just email me. I got you. I'm open Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I got it. Have a good one.